We are now entering a new era where it is possible to live younger, longer, all while achieving the financial freedom of our dreams. Powering this movement are legions of ambitious self-starters who believe in doing well and doing good at the same time. This new lifestyle system may change everything about how we engage in our health and prosperity. But it all started simply with an inquisitive young man living on a farm. Dr. Joel Wallach was born into farm living in rural Missouri, where he tended to vegetable crops and livestock with equal care. As he worked on his high school studies and on becoming an Eagle Scout, Dr. Wallach gravitated towards animal science, plant science, soil science, and veterinary medicine. To learn more, Dr. Wallach got a summer job at the St. Louis Zoo, where he had the privilege of caring for exotic animals alongside Marlon Perkins of Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom fame. Inspired by Mr. Perkins, Dr. Wallach found his mission early in life to protect the welfare of animals, plants, and the earth itself. He wanted all living things to thrive and prosper. Back on the family farm, Dr. Wallach had an epiphany that would advance his new mission for decades to come. He realized that livestock received better nutrition than humans. Dr. Wallach observed that nutrient-dense alfalfa pellets fed to livestock were a cost-effective gold standard practice for preventing infertility, birth defects, heart disease, arthritis, and other degenerative diseases. But he wondered, why is it common practice for livestock to get this nutrition, but not humans? As Dr. Wallach went to the University of Missouri to study agriculture and veterinary medicine, he was determined to solve this nutritional mystery. In organic chemistry class, Dr. Wallach had another breakthrough when he learned that minerals are needed for hundreds of life-sustaining reactions in the body. With his agricultural background, Dr. Wallach also knew that these same minerals are often lacking in the soil and in our diet. Dr. Wallach knew he was on to something significant. After receiving his Bachelor of Science in Agriculture in 1962 and his doctorate in Veterinary Medicine in 1964, he began chasing the answers that he knew would bring vibrant health and wellness to all living creatures on Earth. He studied nutritional deficiency diseases. He began working as a veterinary pathology assistant, conducting up to 25 animal autopsies daily. He investigated the mineral intake of the world's longest living cultures. He traveled to Africa to treat and save exotic animals and endangered species. In 1966, he was invited by Marlon Perkins to participate in a $7.5 million National Institutes of Health study on ecology, environment, pollution, and plant and animal health. The massive study became Dr. Wallach's focus for the next 12 years. Over time, Dr. Wallach performed thousands of animal autopsies across 454 species, including 3,000 humans. His work was included in 70 peer-reviewed journal articles and 15 textbook chapters. Dr. Wallach also began working on his own textbook, The Diseases of Exotic Animals, The Medical and Surgical Management, which is now recommended by the Smithsonian Institute as a foundation text for all zoos. Dr. Wallach's discoveries from this prolific time are still used today to reduce degenerative disease, improve fertility, and extend longevity for exotic animals and livestock. But most significantly, after thousands of animal and human autopsies, Dr. Wallach gained unprecedented insight on the inner workings of the Earth's inhabitants. What he discovered was a near universal trend. Across species, minerals were the currency of life itself. Soon after this revelation, Dr. Wallach identified the first non-human case of cystic fibrosis in a rhesus monkey. He named selenium deficiency as the cause, challenging the established belief that the disease was genetic in nature. Dr. Wallach's findings were met with resistance as the NIH and media alike tried to silence his discovery and discredit his qualifications. Knowing that his discoveries could help millions of people if he had additional qualifications, at age 40, Dr. Wallach decided to become a naturopathic doctor. 
After receiving his ND, Dr. Wallach started a practice and began adapting his veterinary nutritional formulas for human use. These formulations, such as his liquid mineral toddy, worked so well that his patients told everyone they knew. Soon, his clinic was seeing 50 people daily. With his clinic's capacity maxed out, Dr. Wallach realized he needed a better system that would enable him to help more people. Information was the answer. By teaching others how to achieve and share vibrant health, he could remove all limitations and help millions of people. Dr. Wallach created an educational health seminar called Dead Doctors Don't Lie. The tape of his seminars resonated so powerfully with Americans that it sold over 150 million copies without the benefit of social media. With Dead Doctors Don't Lie, Dr. Wallach finally had a way to go directly to the public with his own information on nutrition, information he knew could dramatically improve their health. But Dr. Wallach's next breakthrough was the real game changer, enabling newly healthy people to achieve amazing quality of life, all by helping others. <laughs>